it's Maya from Zen Hair Life and we're gonna come at you today with some nerdy realness. Maybe some of you out there are into comic books too. If you are, definitely leave your comic book picks down below. If any of the ones that I mention are ones that you enjoy or that you really like, definitely let me know. I'd love to know. So, comic book geeks and nerds and girl nerds and and neons if you know if you know my neon reference internet high five because you're awesome it's so much more than superman and batman and spider-man it's not all marvel movies that is not the comic book world so if that's what you think this is you are wrong i promise you i have a stack of comic books right here and this is not even like half this is one of my favorites i don't know where my volume one is but this is volume two i recently got this about maybe a week and a half ago yeah a week and a half ago this is the comic book that got me hooked on comic books so i attribute everything to this she's either like early 20s or late teens um she's a biracial teen from england her name is laura she comes into the story she's the main character she comes into the story at the beginning and she's going to a concert and these pop stars are basically gods it's about power and idolization um of pop stars and it's about just like the influence of mainstream media on our youth I guess and like how important it is but in like a really cool way so they use like powers and not magic but they, they have like supernatural powers they're gods and um, it's really cool I, this is what I say about basically everything. If there are already multiple volumes out about a comic book, I always start with the with the first issue, which is just like, sort of like a chapter, if you will. I would say pick up the first issue. If you like the first issue, then buy the volume one. But yeah, so The Wicked and Divine, awesome. I recommend it for everybody. My boyfriend doesn't love this one as much as I do. Um, I also haven't finished volume two, so if you have, if you've read this and you finished volume two, don't tell me what happens. I'm just gonna present this at the top. These comic books are not for children. If you know anything about comics at all, you will know these covers, these characters, these people. This is Saga. Saga is like how how would you? Saga is the. Beyonce of comic books. See, I, I'm gonna say that I like Saga better than The Wicked and the Divine. These are amazing. This is volume one, this is volume four. It's just amazing. So the breakdown of the story is a kind of like a Romeo and Juliet star-crossed lovers in space. So their, their worlds have been at war for decades, I believe, like decades and decades and they end up meeting and i'm not going to give anything away but they end up meeting falling in love having a child and basically the entire galaxy is trying to find them and capture them i promise you that it's really really good it is it is the shiz this one's really good it's called they're not like us it's sort of a this is issue number one so this is like the the traditional comic book that you're used to seeing. I think if you like the buildup in character development, oh, I just got a great idea. Okay, so it's kind of like X-Men um, um, First Class meets like Sense8, sort of. That's what it is, basically. But they're like young people, they all have these little like if you understand that reference, then you'll get what I'm trying to say. They all live in this house with this weird guy. Don't totally know what's going on with him yet. I mean, there are a lot of differences, but it's like very, very similar. This one is awesome. First of all, the cover art on this one is always 
amazing. Just like your mind is like, whoosh, it's like, whew, that was draining. Not because it was like bad and hard to read, because it was just so much information and you have to think. It's very complex. This is a very complex story. So it's based off of the Odyssey, the old, you know, the Odyssey, the one that you had to read in school. It's a gender bending version of the original story. So instead of male gods and things, they're all female gods. Everybody is female for the most part. It was written by a man, which is interesting. Um, I think he said he wrote it for his daughters. Like they have just like these really cool, like take your mind to this fantasy world and the colors are amazing. You feel like you're in like this, like, watercolor psychedelic thing it's just so cool but the story is amazing the writing's amazing um the beginning of it is like a freaking novel this is the beginning of this comic book oh well that's the back so this is all like backstory good job so this is all backstory and it's so long it basically explains everything to you if you've never read the odyssey um because the characters are are basically the same but just different um genders i hope you guys really like this video i'm really really excited that i did it you guys have no idea i have been kind of like planning on doing this for a really long time now and i'm so excited that i could share this little quirk with you guys and any of you guys that um are into anime or like comic books or some of these just sound really interesting to you or you were surprised at some of the topics and that basically 95 percent of the comic books that i picked up or that i read are female based female driven female centered if that surprises you give this a thumbs up if you had no idea about that whole world of progressive female centered comic books just you know give it a thumbs up for helping you know for opening your eyes to the world of awesome female lead comic books i am in a new space this is my first video filming in chicago so welcome to chicago i am having a really good time here i'm in grad school if you guys didn't know i'm doing a digital media and storytelling program and i'm really loving it so far grad school is a lot of work so i'm going to have to plan and schedule and be organized like crazy because it is so difficult to be able to film videos for you guys write blogs having to do video projects for school editing for school and on top of that doing videos and editing for this and i'm also doing blog posts and writing so basically every single all the stuff that i do for you guys i'm gonna have to do that plus more for school. So it's a lot of work and I really hope that you bear with me. I'm going to do my best to stay on a schedule and upload every single week like I have been. Because I'm in a new place, I want to document this experience, so I'm going to make sure to keep vlogging into my schedule and vlog as much as possible and upload those videos for you guys. Yeah.